Hello, hello. So I was still working on Kivi, and I came across something that is just incredible for you to work and understand better, especially how to use your KV file to uh, place things around. So uh, I figured like if I was going to play with that, let's do it on a video. And so here we are. So what I wanted to do first is uh, a pip install in your command center. And you're going to pip install um, kv-examples. Or KV example. Okay, I've done that already, obviously. Once you've done that, you can go and for me it installed in my Python folder uh, share KV examples slash demo slash KV catalog. And once you're there, you're just gonna run uh, main.py. Okay, you can just hang out in that file and just see everything, but it's basically just a main.py file with various files made with Kiwi for you to witness things. And so, what is it? Well, it's a super cool tool which is going to allow you to uh, witness any changes you do on a Kiwi file immediately. Um, so, this catalog is going to help you just see various things you can do with the, the KV files uh, possibilities. So here we are. Uh, let's go with a float layout here in the catalog and it shows you with an example what it ends up doing, right? Uh, which is pretty interesting. If I go into a box layout, they are showing to you. Okay, so this is how you do a vertical box layout, button one, two, and three. Uh, if you add padding and spacing to it, it goes like that. If you add uh, a size or anything, it's going to adjust. So here, size int is it's adjusted for button 1. Uh, if I move the spacing here and I let it load, because auto reload is on, here I can see the impact of what it just did. If I comment out something, then I remove the spacing, and if I comment out the padding, you can see the impact on that immediately and so it's very easy for you to just copy and paste some layouts that you've been working on in the, those examples and just immediately adjust everything uh, in the way that you want to and also to understand what some uh, properties are doing and here for example to understand the difference between padding and spacing for example and also with size hint okay just uh, what happens if I'm changing something we can see here that uh, this button is now double the size and so it's, it's going like a, a big deal outside of the box uh, but with 0.5 uh, we have a half button okay and I could try out my post hint figure here and be like um, center X maybe at 0.5 we're gonna close this and it should be working right yeah and we can see it right now and so maybe this button is, is a tad bit too small so maybe now try to go 0.8 on this and you have something else so very nice you can understand a lot of things with your grid layout stack layout your buttons and labels like it's very nice uh, let's go if you need a reminder of your progress bars for example uh, so lots of things to understand lots of examples all the time uh, it's really useful and I really like that because uh, some, most of the time like I'm just running things over and over again to understand what's gonna happen uh, and just like seeing all those layouts and all those organizations used directly in there is so practical uh, that um, I thought it was something I wanted to share um, even if I just learned it because usually I come back on things a little later on because as a reminder this channel is about a log of what I'm learning I'm not a professional programmer and I'm not teaching you anything okay <laughs> um, so yeah pop-ups uh, bub uh, bubble like for example I don't even know how to use this so now I'm intrigued uh, scatter which is also something a little special like so many things uh, so yeah that it's free uh, have fun with it and I'll see you around